All right. Been looking at real mowers here, and uh, the Liberty 43 is better than the Swerving. Let's take a look at some images here. And I don't know which one I like. This one looks pretty good. I like this. That looks pretty decent. All right. We've got our image here. And this looks like I just organized my garage, so should be able to fit this in here. I don't know, what do you guys think? There's enough room in this place to uh, fix this up. Get out of here! I cannot believe that this actually worked. I've been wanting one of these for a while. Let's open this bad boy. Time to unbox this thing. Been waiting to do this for a while. So, ordered this bad boy from the Allet USA. Mr. Roland and Tolly helped me out here. And this is the first box to come in. Kawasaki engines. What the heck is this? This is the Allet Liberty 43. Comes with a little charger. And power. Heavy battery. So we'll uh, looks like you just slide that little boy in there. We'll put this in right now. Get that charging. When you get this box, never opened this yet. It comes with uh, all this. Pre pulled these out. Probably uh, melt this down later and uh, be money for it. Because this mower costs so much. Here we go. Let's just see what we're working with here. This little guy, the actual mower. This is the grass catcher box, which should be able to hold enough. Because we're cutting it at 16 mil minimum. All right, let's see how heavy this thing really is. Probably be a good idea to have a partner here. So this is it. Look at this thing. This little grippy fell off over here. So it's looking like just bring this thing over. Oh. This piece goes on the bottom here. And then, this thing goes 
those were in place. And this is the center lever. And then it goes in and gets the dust particles. And now comes with <coughs> these separate little wheels here that we will never use for when people will take off this front roller when they want to cut higher grass and then I guess you take the roller off and then you attach these separate wheels on the front to cut higher grass but uh, I don't think we're going to be uh, doing that because I keep it at a half inch right now with the Emanuel mower but uh, yeah this is, uh, this is it let's take a little look at this thing Is a beauty. You know, I have the gimbal here to make it smooth, but yeah, that is our mower here, Allen 43, Liberty. This is a 17 inch wide. My manual is actually wider than this, but having the manual, it only, you know, it does a good job cutting my great states, but it only, the blades move only as fast as you can walk, you know, and it still doesn't cut everything. This now will move on its own extremely fast. And uh, from what I've been seeing here, on the uh, www is that let's get a look over here and move this around there is a knob right here that we are going to turn and as we turn this thing you can see right here, this number, let's get a little bit closer. This lowers the height of cut. And it goes all the way down to an S, which is a scarfing, but we are not going to be using that at all because I did not get any extra cartridges because I have a Sunjo Scarfire. Yeah guys. This is it. We're waiting for this thing. So I'm gonna go put this battery in and then I'm gonna turn it on. But it's still 34 degrees outside and I've done two videos right now so far with uh, the leveling and dormant seeding of the, the property. And uh, those will be coming out a little bit later. But, you know, once again too, I hope everyone's doing okay out there with this whole pandemic that's going on in our country. You know, I'm on, kind of a lockdown now. I had to shut down my businesses and you know for the next three weeks I'm gonna be making videos and hanging out and playing with this thing and uh, I'm gonna try and cut a little bit of the lawn but uh, with my seeding project that I did I had to use the bag dirt and there's a lot of you know organic matter in there and debris and stuff so there's like sticks and whatnot and uh, I picked up a lot of it but I'm waiting until 
the grass grows through a little bit more that way I can rake out some of those sticks a little bit more and then uh, that way I can bring this thing out there and use it I might do like a little test spot where it's nice and clean but uh, until uh, all the the new seed grows you know, I won't be using this thing probably until you know summertime but it's 34 degrees outside and it's uh, the grass just really isn't growing so but uh, yeah let me uh, put this battery in here and let's turn it on it might be a little loud in here because I'm in the garage everything's shut it's freezing outside but uh, and I don't have a mic anymore because I have a brand new I use my phone to film and this new S20 and there's no port to put the microphone in so it might sound a little echoey and uh, had the phone for about a week I already shattered it because all the store all the Verizon stores closed so I couldn't get a case because of this coronavirus and uh, you know I dropped it cleaning up all the garages so but I hope everyone's doing well stay safe wash your hands you know be a good human and uh, let's put the battery in this thing and see what it can do and another thing to show you these little clips go on here to make it nice and neat and then look let me tilt it back oh gotta be careful you don't want to spill any gas out ha just kidding it's, all, it's got this nice little rake system here where it'll pull that grass up. This comes through, grass, pull up, flatten, all that good stuff. And then let's just see how sharp this thing is. Feels pretty uh, insane. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. We have to make a little adjustment on that side over there. Yeah. It's a pretty uh, nice feature built in there. And then, don't want to lose it. Let's see here, too, if we can uh, get a little... Okay. Oh, there we go. Put a little neighbor dominator there and a little magnet action. But uh, also, this little catcher goes in like that. And then there's a little spring action pin here. And then that's like that. And now we're catching grass. This catcher is a lot bigger than what I thought. And I guess for storage, show that this goes back and uh, keeps it nice and neat. And this cartridge comes out relatively easy. I'm not going to do that because I uh, don't know how to do that yet. But uh, yeah, and then the back also has the split little drum here. And it's for easy turning. So when you try and rotate it, this one will go down, this one goes up and it rotates really easy so but uh yeah we have to do something about that there get that uh neighbor dominator bigger all right guys put the battery in at uh, half charge and let's try it all right moment of truth battery off they say to uh wait 
full charge halfway that's good enough. so let's just give you a, a look here this is where the gas goes in which is battery you dingus and then this is the little key that should never come out of there so we are good to go one more look at this beauty look at that green and now so you know, I've always been curious about these mowers. I've been looking at them for a while. And you know, these are a lot cheaper than the Swordman. You know, Allet is uh, you know a big name across seas. And they cut a lot of stadiums, uh, cricket fields and whatnot. You know, people are always doing like designs with these kind of mowers. And uh, you know, it's just, it's cheaper than a Swordman. And uh, you know, there's more info on them than Swordman. Just the price is a lot better and it just seems a lot easier to use so all right if uh, you like this video you made it this far you know hit the subscribe button hit the bell like it if uh, you liked it and uh, you know this thing's gonna try and take off but uh, let's see here uh, I'll make sure to hold it back I don't know if it's good for it or not but let's see how loud this thing really is this is on the rabbit so this is gonna be the fastest what it looks like sounds like this thing is uh, pretty mean so all right guys thanks a lot and uh we'll see you in the next one